In the last video, we talked about the charge compensator being located between the reversing valve and the outdoor coil on the vapor line or the gas line. And the AC mode, the temperature of that line was hotter and it migrated the refrigerant into the primary liquid line and it remained empty. That's because the condensing coil was very large in size. It was much larger in volume than the indoor coil and we needed that extra refrigerant to be in the subcooling of that outdoor coil. We went in the heat pump mode, the indoor coil became Came the condensing coil and there isn't enough volume in that indoor coil so we had extra refrigerant we had to put somewhere in that case that extra refrigerant went into the charge compensator because that vapor line was now a low temperature low pressure it allowed for that excess liquid refrigerant to migrate into the charge compensator and we had a place to store it what happens nowadays when we have larger indoor coils than we do outdoor coils? An example would be microchannel condensing coil with a tube and fin evaporator or indoor coil. The physical space inside of that indoor coil along with the efficiency standards has a possibility of the indoor coil being physically larger than the outdoor coil. So now we have a new problem that we have to find a new solution for. So this manufacturer has moved the charge compensator between the indoor coil and the reversing valve. If we notice the indoor coil is larger in volume, so it's drawn larger. It needs all of the refrigerant during the heat pump or heating mode. As the hot gas flows through the center tube of the charge compensator, the charge compensator gets very warm. Liquid refrigerant migrates out of the charge compensator and into the system. In AC mode, we can see that the volume of the condensing coil is much smaller. This is typical with some microchannel systems, especially for this particular manufacturer. Again, that charge compensator is between the indoor coil and reversing valve on that gas line. But in this case, that gas line is low temperature, low pressure circuit vapor. That low temperature, low pressure allows excess liquid refrigerant to migrate into the charge compensator so that way it doesn't have to take up space in the outdoor coil, which is now smaller and can't handle all that refrigerant. This is a pretty rare thing. I've only seen this one time. I actually had to contact the manufacturer to ask questions about it. They did confirm that this is what was happening. So hopefully if you see it in this way, you don't think that it's wrong. It actually has a reason behind it. Took me a little while to find this out. So hopefully this will save you some frustrations later.